Well, bed bugs, they give lots of people the creeps, me included, and they're part of a nationwide epidemic. The critters even create problems at local homeless shelters. News 10's Lindsay Yates talked with health experts about the problem. She found out why it's so hard to get rid of the bugs for good. They are um, hard to get rid of. A shelter provides a hot meal and warm place to stay, but sometimes you get more than you bargained for. We see and we have health complaints um, from people in Vigo County. We get a lot of them from different places such as shelters or hotels. These are pictures from a News 10 viewer. He doesn't want us to share his name, but he did share these photos. After a stay at a Wabash Valley shelter, he ended up with these, what he believes are bed bug bites. For a shelter, preventing these pests can be an ongoing process. They're easy to transmit, so they can be packed. They can come and go when you travel. A lot of times they can stay on luggage, they can stay on clothing. So people who come in and out of homes or hotels or shelters oftentimes will bring those bed bugs with them. From mattresses to your clothes, once transmitted, they spread until certain steps are taken. Heat is definitely the main key here. So if there's a minimum amount of bed bugs, um, it's easiest to just put them, put everything that you have on very high heat in your dryer. Make sure you're cleaning the area and vacuuming in the area to keep the, the cost and the bed bug number down. Keller suggests to examine where you sleep so you don't let the bed bugs bite. In terms of shelters and beds, um, the best way is really just to examine where you're sleeping. Um, look on the cracks of the bed line, obviously in the mattress to make sure if there's any problem that maybe you suggest a different bed to make sure that it's clean properly. In Vigo County, I'm Lindsay Yates, News 10. Just makes you itch thinking about them. Well, the health department told us they're always working to limit bed bugs, and as frustrating as they are, they do not transmit diseases like other bugs can, thankfully for that. We talked to a local shelter as well. They didn't want to go on camera, but they told us they always use precautions.